What's up, everyone? Thank you for joining me today on another episode on this channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also the bell notification so you'll know when I put out future videos. Also, check out the link in the description for the merch store. We have t-shirts, we have cups. Check it out. And in today's episode, it is Game of Thrones Day. It is the series finale of Game of Thrones. The eighth season is coming to an end tonight. And it has been met with below average ratings. This is the worst season of Game of Thrones by far. Every other season has been rated pretty high on Rotten Tomatoes. This season is sitting at a 40 with the audience on Rotten Tomatoes. It is an absolute disaster what has happened to Game of Thrones. This TV show may go out as the worst ending to a TV show ever, by far. Now, I've heard that people didn't like the way Lost ended. There's people that didn't like the way The Sopranos ended. Um, I was never really a big fan of those shows anyway, but I am a huge fan of Game of Thrones. And tonight's episode is going to go out with a whimper. It's going to be an absolute disaster. So I want you guys to prepare yourselves for the worst. Think of this as like a Category 5 hurricane that is coming and you cannot stop it. It's going to destroy everything that you own. That's what tonight's episode is going to be like. Because it's going to be a huge outcry about the outcome of this episode. We're going to find out who is going to be the king or the queen sitting on the Iron Throne. But based off of this season... It's been so lackluster, I'm not sure that a lot of people actually even care anymore who actually sits on the Iron Throne. Do you? I mean, I don't care anymore. That's why I actually just looked up the spoilers. Because I think if I didn't look up the spoilers, I was going to be highly, highly disappointed with, with what is going to happen tonight. So therefore, when I see what happens tonight, I really won't feel very much at all. It's going to be bad. I know it's going to be bad. Now, my biggest complaint with this season really isn't the acting. I think the acting has been pretty good. It's been all story. The visuals, they look good. I mean, everything looks like Game of Thrones, but the story really isn't Game of Thrones anymore. And that falls on Benioff and Weiss. It's their fault. And these are the guys that are supposed to come over and save Star Wars. They're supposed to be the white knight to come in and write the ship of Star Wars after the disaster that has been the sequel trilogy. But however, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they can make good Star Wars movies. I hope so. The advantage that they have coming over to Star Wars, though, is I think is going to be a lot of new characters that we aren't invested into. Like, for example, Luke Skywalker. When Luke Skywalker uh, was announced in the sequel trilogy, People were expecting something a lot different and a lot better than what we got because everybody fell in love with him in the original trilogy. But they're rumored to be going to the Old Republic now, so they're probably going to have a lot of leeway with new characters, with a bunch of characters that we really don't know. So that could be a good thing for them, but we'll have to see. But to go back to Game of Thrones... When you finish watching this episode, prepare for the worst. There's going to be a huge outcry about what happens. It's going to be really, really bad. They may have to put Benny off and Weiss in witness protection. It's going to be that bad, folks. I'm not saying that anybody should go out and attack Benny off and Weiss at all. I'm not saying that. But I'm saying that the outcry from what will happen tonight is going to anger a lot of fans. And I think a lot of fans that may actually be trying to run them off from Star Wars now, and that's probably already happened right now based off of uh, Season 8 of Game of Thrones. But we'll have to see. I'm just trying to 
put you guys in the right place, have very, very low expectations for this episode. There is nothing in this episode that's going to justify anything that has happened so far in season eight of Game of, Thro- Game of Thrones. It just won't. So if your expectations are high, you're going to be let down a lot. You're going to be very, very disappointed. Now, maybe the casual Game of Thrones fan, maybe they, they're enjoying this season. But I think the biggest outcry has been from people that are diehard Game of Thrones fans that have watched every single season of Game of Thrones. They're invested in it, just like Star Wars fans are invested in Star Wars. Maybe the casual Star Wars fan like The Last Jedi. They like what happened to Luke Skywalker because they're not invested into him. But all of us real Star Wars fans, we're invested in Luke. The same with Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones has a very strong, passionate fan base. They're probably just as passionate as Star Wars fans. But that's pretty much what I have for you today, guys. Game of Thrones series finale is going to happen tonight. Keep your expectations low and you won't hurt as much. Either way it goes, you're going to be hurt by what happens tonight. So guys, let me know what you think about all this in the comments. If you're new here to the channel, please hit subscribe to catch future videos from me and we will catch you on the next video. John Matrix, out.